हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज द रिएक्टेंस व्हाट इज रिएक्टेंस बेसिकली रिएक्टेंस इज अ नॉन रेजिस्टिव अपोजिशन ऑफर्ड बाय अ सर्किट इन द फ्लो ऑफ करंट इज कॉल्ड रिएक्टेंस और वी कैन डिफाइन रिएक्टेंस एज द नॉन रिएक्टिव अपोजिशन ऑफर्ड बाय एन इंडक्टर or a capacitor in the flow of current is called reactance reactance is denoted by x and it is a scalar quantity whose si unit is ohm reactance is of two type first type of reactance is inductive reactance denoted by x suffix l and second is capacitive reactance denoted by x suffix c xc so now we come to the first one the inductive reactance what is inductive reactance inductive reactance is the non resistive opposition offered by an inductor in the flow of current it is a scalar quantity as we all know and si unit is again ohm inductive reactance is denoted by x suffix l now mathematically we have learned uh, in case of inductive circuit that inductive reactance is denoted by omega times l omega is the angular frequency and l is self inductance l self inductance you all know If I break omega, so omega can be written as two pi upon t. So we can write x l equal to two pi upon t into l. And also, if we know the frequency f is linear frequency, this is angular frequency, this is linear frequency or natural frequency. So omega can also be defined as two pi times of f. So we can say omega. So if I replace two pi f, so replace it, then x l becomes equal to 2 by f into l. This is the expression of inductive reactance in terms of natural frequency or in terms of linear frequency. But for a given inductor, if I take the inductor of same nature, the similar inductor, then l is going to be constant. 2 pi itself is a constant, so whole value will be constant. So we can say x l is directly proportional to f. यानी इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी मोर फ्रीक्वेंसी मोर इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस लेस फ्रीक्वेंसी लेस इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस नाउ वी शेल स्टडी द बिहेवियर ऑफ एन इंडक्टर विद द टू टाइप्स ऑफ करंट्स फर्स्ट टाइप इज डीसी इफ आई टेक इंडक्टर फॉर डीसी देन फॉर डीसी क्या होता फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ डीसी इज जीरो एंड सिंस फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ डीसी जीरो सो एक्सएल विल बी जीरो बिकॉज़ वी नो एक्सएल इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एफ एक्सएल विल बी जीरो it means that inductor offers no opposition in the flow of dc means inductor offers no reactance to the dc and hence dc pass easily so inductor pass dc very easily next we come to for ac if i study the ac behavior of inductor to so ac behavior of inductor says hame pata hai f For AC is non-zero. AC की frequency zero नहीं होती. As I told you that Indian AC is 50 hertz और Japanese और American AC is 60 hertz frequency. How low it may be, but it never be zero. So for high frequency AC, if we have high value of F, XL will be very high. यानी more F, more XL. So inductor uh, inductor offers very high or very large reactance. to the high frequency ac if ac is of high frequency then it offers a very large reactance means it makes the flow of ac difficult kyunki hame pata hai reactance is nothing but it is the opposition it is the difficulty in the flow of current so ac or high frequency ac flows through inductor with very much difficulty yani we can say to extremely high frequency ac inductor blocks it so inductor blocks high frequency ac it is a very common question that comes in board exam that justify that inductor offers 
a blockage to ac but pass the dc very easily or an inductor blocks the high frequency ac whereas it passes dc very easily so this whole topic from here to here you have to explain in the response of this question now graphical variation of inductive reactance with the frequency frequency ke sath inductive reactance ka kya graphical behavior hoga see this is the origin i have assumed and on this axis i am taking frequency and on the y axis i am taking reactance and this time reactance is xl yani inductive reactance since we know xl is directly proportional to f so graph will be a straight line going through the origin or we can say zero frequency zero induct uh, inductive reactance high frequency high inductive reactance even higher inductive uh, reactance for higher frequency and as the frequency increases inductive reactance goes on increasing now we will see the capacitive reactance or behavior of a capacitor with ac and dc capacitive reactance is the non resistive opposition offered by a capacitor in the flow of current it is called capacitive reactance again it is a scalar quantity si unit is ohm again and capacitive reactance is denoted by x suffix c and x c mathematically we have uh, seen in the capacitive circuits uh, pure capacitive circuit that x c is 1 upon omega c here omega can be written as omega equals to 2 upon a uh, 2 pi upon t so we can say x c equals to t upon 2 pi into 1 upon c and also omega f omega can be written as 2 pi times f f is again natural frequency so x c can be written as 1 upon 2 pi f c this is the commonly used formula for capacitive reactance now for a given capacitor if we take the capacitor of a constant value then 2 pi and c will be a constant so we can say xc yani capacitive reactance is directly proportional to 1 upon f or we can say capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency now behavior of a capacitor capacitor ka behavior with the two currents uh, for dc agar main dekhu to we know for dc frequency is zero so xc becomes infinite as we know xc is inversely proportional to frequency so xc becomes infinite it means a capacitor offers infinite reactance to dc and hence it blocks it this is the reason capacitor blocks dc capacitor is not usually with, uh, work with dc dc ke sath mein capacitor work nahi karte it works for dc as a switch only now with ac we know frequency of ac is not zero so it will offer some reactance but which is not invariant value so for very low frequency ac xc will be large but if we increase the frequency then xc becomes small so we can say for high frequency ac capacitor offers minimum or you can say almost nil reactance for very high frequency ac it offers almost nil or minimum reactance means it lets the ac pass through it easily ac iske andar se bahut aasani se pass ho jati hai so question comes in your exam justify that a capacitor blocks dc but let pass ac through it this is the question and you will write the answer from here to here this is the answer of this question now the variation of xc with f graphical variation of xc with f if i draw a graph having frequency on x axis and reactance on y axis and this time i am taking capacitive reactance then the graph will be like this graph will be a curved line because it shows the high reactance at low frequency and as the frequency increases reactance comes down and it will be infinite at zero frequency so this is the graph of capacitive reactance we are going to cover a very important topic very important study
that is the variation of reactance with frequency it may be uh, natural frequency or it may be angular frequency if we are drawing the variation for angular frequency we will replace f with omega nothing change only f will be replaced by omega now on the x axis i am uh, going to take frequency and on the y axis i am going to take reactance this time i am going to uh, study both the reactance together so we know xl is directly proportional to frequency so a straight line graph will be seen we have seen earlier now for the case of uh, capacitive reactance this type of graph will be there two graph will uh, meet at this point this point is called resonance point or at this point both the frequency uh, both the reactance xl and xc becomes equal xl and xc both becomes equal at this point and we will say the frequency corresponding to this point is called f naught this f naught is called resonant frequency at resonance frequency xl becomes equal to xc by the time frequency is smaller than this resonance frequency for a given circuit then xc will be greater than xl here in this area xc is greater xl is smaller and in case frequency is larger than the resonant frequency then xl will be greater than xc means here the inductor will dominate and this side capacitor will dominate but at this point both inductor and capacitor will not dominate it will be dominated by resistance if we have resistance in the circuit so when f equal to f not xl equal to fc xc or hame pata xl equal to 2 pi f into l tha but f becomes f not now f not l and xc was 1 upon 2 pi fc but f is f not now f not ko main yahan par le gaya to mere paas bana f not square 2 pi ko niche laya to bana 4 pi square aur l bhi niche chala gaya lc so yahan se f not ki equation nikal ke aati hai that we call resonance frequency or no frequency yahan par both the reactants becomes equal aapse puche jata find the expression for the resonant frequency or the frequency at which both capacity uh, both the reactants becomes equal so this is f not equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc we say if f is smaller than f not then it is capacitive domination yani capacitor ka domination hoga capacitor ki reactance jata hai now if f becomes greater than f not then the inductive domination will be there in circuit circuit mein inductive domination ho jayega inductor ka bol bala ho jayega now we move on to a very important topic impedance this will be seen in series lcr circuit as a major factor impedance impedance is denoted by z and it is the total opposition offered by any resistance capacitance or inductance together or one by one kisi bhi aise circuit mein ya to in tino ko ka agar presence hai to tino ka total opposition और अगर कोई एक एब्सेंट है तो बाकी दो का पोजीशन अगर दो एब्सेंट है तो एक का पोजीशन दिस इज कॉल्ड इंपीडेंस मींस इंपीडेंस इज द नेट रिजल्टेंट ऑफ रिएक्टेंस एंड रेजिस्टेंस मींस टोटल रेजिस्टिव एंड रिएक्टिव अपोजिशन ऑफर्ड इन द फ्लो ऑफ एसी इज कॉल्ड इंपीडेंस इंपीडेंस इज अगेन ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी एसआई यूनिट विल बी ओम एंड impedance for different circuit will be different if we are studying pure resistance circuit is circuit mein resistance ke alawa kuch nahi hai then z will be r yani iska resistance is impedance kahi jayegi basically impedance is a term of a uh, term used for resistance total resistance in ac circuits to so pure resistive circuit mein impedance is equal to the resistance of the circuit itself if we have pure inductive circuit then neither resistance nor capacitor is present there so z yani impedance will be equal to cap inductive reactance yani xl xl itself for pure capacitive circuit z equal to xc yani capacitive reactance itself because neither resistor nor inductor are present in the circuit if we study the series lcr circuit which is coming up and we will prove this formula also in series lcr circuit inductive uh, impedance will be defined as square root of r square resistance square plus xl minus xc ka whole square 
एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी एक्सएल और एक्सी के डिफरेंस का होल स्क्वायर हम करेंगे प्लस आर स्क्वायर जोड़ के सारे का स्क्वायर निकालेंगे दिस विल बी कॉल्ड इंपिडेंस इन सीरीज एलसीआर सर्किट इफ यू स्टडी एलसी सर्किट सच ए सर्किट इन विच नो रेजिस्टेंस इज प्रेजेंट अगर मैं रेजिस्टेंस की एबसेंस मान लेता हूं देन इंपिडेंस इज कॉल्ड एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी बिकॉज आर विल बी जीरो और एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी का ऑल स्क्वायर टेकन स्क्वायर रूट तो स्क्वायर रूट हट जाएगा स्क्वायर से एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी सिमिलरली यू कैन फाइंड आउट द इंपिडेंस फॉर आर एल सर्किट जिसमें आर और एल है जिसमें कैपेसिटर एक्सी को जीरो कर देंगे आप तो आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्सएल स्क्वायर का स्क्वायर रूट आएगा आप आर सी सर्किट भी निकाल सकते हैं आर और सी प्रेजेंट है एल नहीं है तो आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्सी स्क्वायर का ऑल स्क्वायर एक्सी स्क्वायर का स्क्वायर रूट इसकी इंपिडेंस आएगी तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इंपिडेंस रिएक्टेंस थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग